Hi, I'm Mark Harrison, and you may know me from my various music instruction books or from my work here in Los Angeles at the Grove School of Music. In this lesson, we're going to focus on blues rock piano styles, and I'm going to be referencing some material out of my blues piano book, uh, which you may have seen in your local music stores or possibly in your library. A lot of the time, Blues rock piano styles make use of what we call a straight eighths rhythmic subdivision at medium to fast tempos. Okay, so the strum loop I have right here is an example of a straight eighths feel. Let's give it a listen. So I could count this as follows: one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so when I'm counting that, um, each and falls exactly halfway between its neighboring downbeats. So the and after beat one exactly divides in half the space between beat one and beat two, and so forth. So let's now combine that uh, drum groove with a, a straightforward left hand blues rock pattern. So I'm going to simply take a C chord and take the root fifth of the chord C up to G, the root sixth C up to A, and alternate that in this style. Let's hear how that sounds with the drum groove. Here we go. Now I'm going to play that pattern around a 12 bar blues progression in the key of C. That'll involve different combinations of the 1 chord, that's C, the 4 chord, F, and the 5 chord, G. I'll play that through and I'll comment on the, which chords we're going to. Let's have a listen to that. Starting with the 1 chord on C. So the 4 chord, and back to the 1 chord. Now on measure 5, we go up to the 4 chord. Measure 7, we're back on the 1 chord. Now I'll measure 9, up to the 5 chord, and down to the 4 chord, and by measure 11, we're back on the 1 chord. Okay, there are many variations on the basic blues progression, but that particular version is uh, very typically used. Okay, now let's try and combine that with some blues rock right hand ideas. I'm going to start out here with something uh, called a drone note. A drone is simply a repeated top note that could be used over different moving notes underneath. In this case, I'm taking a drone or top note of C, and then I'm gonna use G flat and G underneath. Now, technically, all of these notes come from a C blue scale, which in total consists of C, E flat, F, F sharp or G flat, G, and then B flat. Okay. So if I do this kind of pattern, let's see if I can make that work over that uh, entire C blues progression that we just used. Let's check that out. Here we go. basically works over the 12 bar progression as a whole. That's an example of what we call playing over the changes, where we take something from a scale source, in this case C blues, and use it over the entire blues progression in the key of C. In other words, without having to change scales on a chord by chord basis. Now let's consider uh, another device where we will have to change scales on a chord by chord basis. Um, the blues piano book also deals a lot with the use of mixolydian modes uh, uh, in the blues. And um, a quick little theory review there, a mixolydian mode is built from the fifth degree of a major scale. So for example, if I had an F major scale, which is these notes, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, if I reposition that scale to start on its fifth degree, which is the note C, I would get C mixolydian, which starting from C would be the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat back to C. Okay, that C mixolydian mode could also be derived by taking a C major scale and lowering the seventh degree by a half step. That is to say the B would get to B flat. That's a very useful scale source for a C7 down chord. So the C mixolydian can be a scale source for a C7. Equally, F mixolydian, that's 
actually a display speed flat scale, could be a scale source for F7 and so forth. Similarly, G mixolydian, actually a displaced C major scale, could be a scale source for a G7. And those three chords I just played, the C7, F7, G7, um, would be the basic chord used in a C blues. Okay, so back to our C7 for a moment, uh, our C mixolydian uh, within a C7 chord. A very common application of the mixolydian mode is to pick out third intervals. So like these uh, sounds here, E and G together, F and A together, G and B flat together. For example, little phrases like this are very typical. We can even add grace notes in. I'm adding a little flat 5 to 5 here, that's G flat to G, to kind of blues it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to play another round of the blues progression, this time using these third intervals from the different mixolydian modes, that's to say C mixolydian over the C7, F mixolydian over the F7, and so forth, uh, using the same left hand pattern as before. So let's see uh, how that sounds. Here we go. Finally, let's uh, combine those previous two ideas together. Just as a reminder, the first idea we had was this uh, drone note idea, which stayed pretty static throughout the progression as a whole. The second idea was these third intervals from mixolydian modes, you know, this on the C7 and this on the F7, which kind of change on a chord by chord basis. So let's see if I can sort of uh, combine those together into hopefully what will be a, a little more of an interesting and varied uh, uh, short of the blues progression. Let, let, let's give that a try. Here we go. you a glimpse of the uh, tremendous number of possibilities that occur when we you know, combine together these different right hand elements within at the context of a blues rock progression. So lots more where that came from in the uh, blues piano book of course. Um, so for more information on any of our educational books and CDs including the uh, blues piano book uh, please check out our website that's at harrisonmusic.com. Uh, also I do give online private lessons and this is the view of me that you'll see uh, during the lessons so if you're interest, interested in more information about that then again please check our website. So I hope you have fun with your blues rock piano and thanks again for listening. Bye for now. <laughs>